Good morning, is everyone doing all right? Yeah, yeah I fucking wrote down a bit where it said that, oh, that last guy just asked you that. And guess what? I fucking skip places because I'm such a cunt. Um, can I all ask you a favor? Just remember these four words. Dick. <laughs> I've forgotten them. Okay, so. Dick. Being fat. Fuck, it's three. This isn't going well. Anyway, how's it going? I'm uh, T Wags. It's a stupid I know, name I know, but hashtag YOLO, hashtag swag. Yeah, fuck off. You're being a compass people, you'd be China, Genghis Khan. Fuck off. Anyway, yeah, my name's T Wags. I test computer games for a living. And uh, it's an awesome job to have. Kind of the job that I always wished I'd have when I was a 12 year old boy, but they left me with the facial hair and penis of a 12 year old boy. I know you can't, you probably can't see it, but there's actually hairs on my fucking top lip that are longer than my penis, which is pretty fucking bad. And uh, I know I have a small penis because what I do when I go into the toilets and I walk up to urinals, I stare at other men's penises out of fucking jealousy. Unless it's Hooker John and then I just stare at it like it's a fucking Burmese python. I'm not fucking worried about how big it is, I'm just saying, what the fuck is that? And is it gonna eat me? Jesus fucking Christ! It's got a fucking gravitational pull, man, right? Fuck me, man. No wonder you walk like a zombie. So yeah, I stare at fucking other men's penises at urinals and fantasize like... Kinda like... I don't know, the way a poor man... Is there any poor men in? Yeah! Is there any poor women? Yeah! And there's plenty of you to fucking have sex with each other. Yeah! Yeah, if there's any poor men in, the way you look at a rich man going in a nice car, that's kinda like what I do when I'm looking at other men's willies. I just think, oh fuck, it would be fucking great to have that. I could drive fucking fast down the A90. I can make it to Dundee in 45 minutes. I could put three fingers under my penis and not pee all over my own jeans. That'd be fucking great. Thing is, they never do it the other way, do they? There's never a guy that walks about with a big cock thinking, I wonder what it's like to have a small cock. Guys with big dicks walk about going, oh fuck, see that bitch, I'd love to snap my dick in half in her pussy. I can't do that, because my dick is only a half. <laughs> Fucking sucks. Guys never fantasize the other way. Guys never think about, I wonder what it's like to sit down in the toilet, to have a sit down wee and have your penis sit on top and pee all over the floor and have to fucking clean up. They don't think about the fact that when they fucking go to the urinal, they have to hold their zipper open like a fat man, like a woman at the gynecologist, going, just so they don't pee on their own fucking trousers. It's fucking suck. I guess the moral of the story is, have a bigger penis. <laughs> So anyway, like I already said, I test computer games for a living. And the reason I fucking love computer games is because they take me to places in my head that I've never been to before. I am never ever going to be able to walk about in a war zone shooting guns. And I can do that in computer games. I can also never ever do a forward roll or climb steps without being out of breath. I can do that in computer games. And that's why I fucking play them. Yeah. However, I also use other things to go places to do things that I can't ever do. Like go to Amsterdam and take two boxes of truffles and have Johnny Depp sing songs to me by Metallica before they turn shit. And that's all fucking fine. I love that bit. But the boxes of truffles never ever say there's going to be a fucking horrible bit at the end of this. Don't eat the whole fucking thing. And I didn't discover that till too late when I was lying in the fucking bedroom just waiting and just fucking go to sleep. I'm freaking out. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, don't take a shower because the shower's bleeding. Don't take a shower because the shower's bleeding. Fucking, oh, Jesus, Hitler. Oh, Dundee. Dundee Hitler. Dundee 
Hitler, Dundee Hitler, Dundee Hitler. Adams, Adam Dundee Hitler, Adam Dundee Hitler. Just close your fucking eyes and then you'll forget about it. Worst idea of my life. Close my fucking eyes to be met by a picture of the Virgin Mary bleeding fucking profusely from the crotch and ask me, please get back in. And the worst thing was I did. I crawled back up inside her, I hugged her really fucking hard, turned into the fetal position, and it was warm, and it was beautiful, and it was wet. Why is it wet? <laughs> Fuck's sake, tea bags are pissed about. It's alright, it wasn't my bed. It was Amsterdam's bed. They all call, own them as a collective. Anyway, yeah, what, what was I talking about? The fact that I, oh, I was talking about my dick. I was talking about the fact that I test computer games for a living. Does anyone else here test computer games for a living? Yeah, he's right there. Shut the fuck up, Genghis Khan! There's no one here to rape and pillage. And plus, you're too short to even be a fucking dictator. You fucking North Korean twat. Anyway, yeah, I test computer games for a living. Which basically means that I sit down for a living at a computer desk, which turns has turned me in over the years to a fat bastard. Yeah. I used to be a really skinny guy. And I always thought, why have I turned into a fat bastard? It's because I work at the office all day. It's not. All of Britain's turned into a fat bastard. Do you know how I know this? British Airways. I know you're all looking at me like, fucking, how does that work? Aha. Does anyone remember British Airways fucking tray tables in like 2001? What shape were they? Rectangles. What shape are they now? Bald in the front? <laughs> Sit down with your fucking dinner. <laughs> Thank you, British Airways man. I'm fucking sorted. <laughs> well, for my comfort. Also, British Airways are about fucking profit because they embossed their logo in the cups, but that's a different story. Speaking about British Airways, uh, I want to tell you about the story about when I was in New York and uh, I met the most obnoxiously but fucking funniest story about Americans not understanding the world outside America I've ever seen in my life. And I just want to point out this isn't all Americans. I met an American on Times Square who said, hey, where are you from, buddy? Uh, Scotland. And he goes, where are you from in Scotland? I got friends that live in Peterhead. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> the fuck are they doing there? Fishing. <laughs> or, as I believe they call it in Scottish, fashion. <laughs> I was like, oh, fuck, I love you, man. <laughs> anyway, so I'm leaving uh, New York. I'm in JFK Airport. And uh, I'm standing in the queue. And before you get to the security gate, there's a, there's a TSA guy that takes everyone's passports and has a quick look at them just to make sure they have the passports so they don't get fucked over in security. And then when, most of them are just taking passports and go, yeah, there you go, yeah, there you go, there you, there you go, fuck off, there you go, there you go, leave America now. But there was one guy, fucking, he must have been like six foot seven, big black guy, fucking awesome. And he's going, bring it in! Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. And then he meets this French guy. Well, I think he was French. Because he walked up and he went, oui? And the guy went, you French? He said, yes. <laughs> well, I think he was French. And he took the passport and he went, you French? Uh, oui. And he said the most amazing, like, most stereotypical American thing I've ever heard about. It. But it was amazing. Just looked him dead in the eyes and went, I fucking love French fries, man. <laughs> <laughs> it fucking, it was glorious. <laughs> I pissed myself laughing. I almost got lamed to stay in the country. It was awesome. <laughs> so on that note, I just want to finish with another story about uh, some Americans in, in Aberdeen learning the ins and outs of uh, Doric, which uh, some of you might have heard before, but some of you haven't. Teddy's Twilight. Are you trying to say that the fucking light's going down in my career, Frank? Says you, the man that fucking slept in a urinal. Fucking. 
Anyway, yeah, there was a few years back there was a band from Boston called NR that uh, played in okay. Captain Tom's. Cap live at Captain Tom's, yeah! yeah. Captain Tom's, they played there. Went back after the gig, went back to my house. Hey man, this is where we're sitting. Nah, dude, we're going out. We're gonna get fucked up, Scotty style. Is there any bars in here that sell like temp super on tap? <laughs> 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 like, I thought that shit was Scottish, dude. It's like, yeah, no one drinks it, <laughs> other than hobos and obnoxious fucking Bostonians. You nut. Know? <laughs> I was like, whoa. I say that, but then he texted me when they were in Rome and he said, Man, Italian people are fucked up, they have this shit on tap. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we get back to the house, he goes, Let's go out, dude. And I was like, Alright, where are we going? I thought, Fuck, where's open? Like, fucking two o'clock on a Saturday. I said, Well, closest place to my house, all the way, it's a walk down George Street, but we can go to Exodus. And this fucking. Big fucking burly Bostonian death metal band. Like, yeah, we'll go to Exodus. That'll be fucking lovely. <laughs> so we walk down George Street. We walk all the way down George Street, and uh, DJ, the guitarist, goes, Dude, how do I speak to Scottish chicks? I was like, Oh, I go up to them and say hello? <laughs> oh, fucking, that'd be a good start. He says, Nah, man. What do I say if I was from Scotland, dude? I was like, Oh, say if it like. What the fuck's food like, dude? I was like, mm, what like? Well, if you wanted to be really dotted, you could say, Fuz your deuce. Uh, now, what does Fuz your deuce mean? How's your pigeons? How's your pigeons? So I explained this to him. I was like, it's just a way of saying, hi, how are you? But really, it means, how's your pigeons? I was like, that's fucking awesome, dude. Fuz your deuce, Fuz your deuce. All the way down George Street, gets past the fucking Q sex shop, because I know where that is. <laughs> And then he goes quiet, he's clearly forgotten. So we get the Exodus, standing about, drinking balls of jacks, fucking nobody's paying attention or anything. And then DJ is standing between the girls and the guys' toilets, just leaned against the wall. Just like that. And everyone that walks past, if he catches them, he's trying to stop them. This girl's going in to the toilets, because that's where you pick up girls, apparently, in Boston. <laughs> DJ, you're right. <laughs> Irish, Irish, Irish Red Sox. <laughs> Boston Burns. <laughs> Finally looks up just as a girl walks towards you. And she stops, she just looks him in the eyes, and he's like, oh, I'm gonna fucking speak to this girl. And he looks her in the eyes, and then he looks at me, and he looks back at her, and he goes, How <laughs> she was Polish, she was fucking cunt. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I've been teabags, right? Vincent's up next, what we have to see you later. Oh, come on, that shit was funny. One more time for teabags!